Welcome back, Patriots. It's your boy Tyrone, Mr. Conservative, coming back at you guys with another video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And you guys, don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to call me Mr. Conservative. And yes, I'm back at you guys with a really quick video, you guys. I promise I will not be long before you guys. I want to talk about one of the representatives. I also want to talk about Mitch McConnell as well, you guys. But well, let's talk about one of the representatives from Mississippi. His name is Thompson, you guys. He is trying to sue Donald Trump for the whole Capitol thing. He has filed lawsuit papers against Donald Trump saying that he provoked the violence. He provoked, he pretty much uh, encouraged the violence on the Capitol. You guys, that's what his lawsuit is stating. Um, now, he has no just reason to file any type of lawsuit against Donald Trump because this is how I feel. If that's the case may be, okay, so that means all those people that had their cars burned, all those people that had their businesses burnt, looted, rioted, all that good stuff, they should be able to sue the Democrat Party for the things and the comments that they have said during the whole BLM and Antifa riots that was going on, you guys. Uh, you know, they encouraged it. They, they, they promoted it. They bond out some of these rioters, you guys. So if that's the case may be and you're saying that by his words alone his words alone which i don't see how his words could be mistaken he said peacefully and patriotically peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard peacefully and patriotically so i mean what's wrong with that that's pretty much hey go down there you know protest make your voice heard you know what I'm saying but we're going to do it peacefully and we're going to do it patriotically you guys all right so for him to try to sue Donald Trump over, you know, his words and saying that he incited the violence. Well, OK, well, the Democrat Party incited violence for a whole entire year with no backlash, Patriots, with no backlash. OK, now these people bonded out the rioters. OK, they say, oh, there should be more civil unrest in the streets. You guys remember that they should be able to sue. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Chris Cuomo, who was saying who said a protest? It was supposed to be peaceful. Who ever said that? You guys remember when he said that? I remember when he said that. You guys, so he should be sued, okay? He should be sued for all these businesses that burnt, that got rioted, got their windows smashed, property damage. Some of these people, the houses was damaged. They should be liable as well. So when you're saying that, okay, when you're trying to come after Donald Trump saying that he incited this, it's a load of malarkey, Patriots. It's a load of malarkey. You know it. I know it. We all know it. That it's full of garbage, okay? Now, I, I don't even want to spend too much time on that, you guys, because I said I was going to make a really quick video, but I do want to wrap that up. So, you know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? So, I want to quote, I just want to warn him, be cautious of what you're doing because you're opening up a door because you my good sir you my good sir is going to open up the door for the democrat party to be sued as well i think they should be sued because they they encouraged this patriots they encouraged it they encouraged it they said hey yes more civil unrest you know all that good stuff man <laughs> all that good stuff right so i'm not gonna spend too much time on that let's talk about mitch mcconnell and donald trump you guys donald trump released a statement state stating you know pretty much just dogging mitch mcconnell out uh due to uh his uh statement that he gave on the senate floor he says mitch mcconnell never ever put america first you guys uh how do you guys feel about that do you guys believe that comment below let me know I'll give you a little bit of time to comment as I catch my breath. All right, so yes, I, I I agree with Donald Trump. Mitch McConnell have never really ever put America first, you guys. I mean, I, he got a lot of special interests, you guys. Uh, I think he, uh, when I look at Mitch McConnell, I look at him as a swamp creature, you guys, uh, a rhino. Um, he is not loyal to the Republican Party as or loyal to us conservatives as any of us, you guys. Um, so... Yeah, and then Donald Trump also said that he was going to back candidates, back candidates with the put America first agenda. Yeah, yes, I like that. I like Trump said he's coming back. And I wouldn't be surprised, you guys. I wouldn't you see the hat, you guys. You guys see it? Check it out. Check it out. I know I showed it before, but yeah. So, yes, he will be back, you guys, um, um, in 2024. And yeah, they got they got somebody to reckon with. Man, the crazy thing, Mitch McConnell. This goes out to you, Mitch McConnell. Um, I don't understand why you're trying to pick a fight with Donald Trump. You know that he he's a goat. He's a goat, man. Real talk, he's a goat. Um, you know, um, uh, greatest of all time, right? He's the greatest of all time. He grew your base. He grew your base base he put all your federal judges all of your federal judge mitch mcconnell's on the bench um and you my good sir 
if it comes down to a loyalty thing, if it comes down to that, I'm pretty sure Mitch McConnell, I'm one, I'm willing to bet my check on it, man. Uh, you can take that check to the bank and cash it. Uh, that Trump's going to win, hands down, because the American people, us conservatives, we still got Trump back, you guys. Uh, we still are rooting for Trump. Um, and yeah, Mitch McConnell, you, you're picking a fight you can't win. If I was you, I would just back off and worry about the agendas for the next two years and hope to God, hope to God that you get back in Trump's good graces so he can help you grow your Republican Party. Um, but it doesn't look that way, you guys. Um, and I'm just thinking realistic, you guys. Um, so comment below. Let me know what you guys think, you know, on all the things I was just rambling on, you guys, um, you know. I really think for Mitch McConnell to be picking a fight with Donald Trump uh, is the wrong move for him personally because the American people still love Donald Trump. They try to say, oh, he's an unpopular president. No, he's not. You guys got to remember, 75 plus million people voted for Trump. The largest, the largest number in history, you guys, for the Republican Party. Besides, like, I think Ronald Ray, I don't I forgot how many. I know Ronald Reagan had a landslide, you guys, but I'm not really sure on how many votes he got. But I know he had a landslide. But, you know, he grew your base. He grew your base. The only reason why the Democrat Party won is because you guys know why the whole mail in ballots things. We know that there was something really shady with that. And, um, but yes, um, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about that. And why am I making a long video again, you guys? All right, so. I'm going to wrap it up, you guys. Uh, so, yes, that's how I feel. So, how do you guys feel about them trying to sue Donald Trump? Comment below. Let me know, you guys. Um, I don't think they have any grounds. I don't think they have a leg to stand on, uh, personally, my opinion, you guys. And I believe that if they sue Donald Trump, then all of us people should be able to sue the Democrat Party who encourage riots, uh, looting, and burning in our neighborhoods. We should be able to file suits against them just by their statements alone that they have made over the extents of the whole entire year, right, Patriots, right, of 2020. Um, now, Mitch McConnell, Mitch McConnell, as him trying to pick a fight with Donald Trump, I think it's the wrong thing. I think, really, you guys, it is the wrong thing for Mitch McConnell to be doing, you know what I mean? But we all know that he's a swamp creature anyways. He doesn't care about America. And, yes, if Donald Trump put people with the American First policies and he backed them. I'm going to back them as well, you guys. Um, yes, because I want to put America first. I want to make America great. I want to keep America great, you guys. Uh, I'm, and I really believe a lot of people are going to be red pill this year, you guys. Especially after all the executive orders and all the ways that Joe Biden is trying to take the country. So, yeah, people are not happy with it already. Um, you know, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say I'm going to wrap the video up, okay? I said it, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not long video. Let's make America great. And and let's keep America great. Yeah, baby. All right. I'll be coming back at you guys with another video.